We're incredibly excited to be leading the capstone mission for NASA and demonstrating critical technologies that will not just help people return to the moon, will help people stay at the moon. Before NASA sends their human-rated spacecraft, we want to send our CubeSat capstone to kind of work out the issues of how do you operate in this type of orbit? How do you do station keeping? How do you do navigation? Capstone is a Pathfinder mission. Uh, Capstone is going to be demonstrating how to put a space station at the moon. So it's important for us to characterize that orbit and to understand what it is like to have spacecraft in that orbit. The Capstone mission is important because we'll be one of the first to explore the NRHO, the Near Rectilinear Halo Orbit, in and around cislunar space, which will provide valuable experience and knowledge for NASA when they operate their Artemis missions. What I think makes it a really interesting orbit is that it's kind of like balancing a pencil or a pin on the tip. Or like, theoretically you can, but you never actually can. At its core, CAPS is a peer-to-peer -peer navigation system. So CAPS is the Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System, and we'll be using that um, to sort of do autonomous lunar navigation in addition to demonstrating the near rectilinear halo orbit for NASA. CAPS enables a future where many spacecraft can talk to each other and they can help each other navigate, figure out where they are, avoid collisions, carry out their objectives, and so on. Instead of talking to the ground, we can talk just directly with LRO and determine where we are in space, determine our position and our velocity in space. You don't just know that you are you know, X kilometers separated. You can actually estimate the full six-dimensional state of both of those spacecraft. People have shown that mathematically for probably 15 years at this point, and this will be the first time that we actually get to demonstrate it in space. Going to the moon is about learning. It's about learning how to operate in deep space without a lot of support from the ground. I think it's very cool that we're working to put people back on the moon, especially because when, when I was growing up, that wasn't a, a big thing. It was a big thing we had done, but not a big thing that we were doing. And so I think it's really cool to be part of the generation that's kind of bringing that back. Space travel is kind of like sea travel was many hundreds of years ago. It's hard, it's dangerous, but the resources out there, the knowledge out there, will have tremendous impact on human life in the future. It has been an exhilarating two and a half years leading the development of the Capstone mission for NASA. But what I'm most excited about is this is just the beginning of developing a foundation for the permanent return of humanity to the moon and a starting point for us to explore the rest of the solar system.